I'm slowly losing my mind. Does anyone have any creative ways of training at home? Okay, I think I can come up with something. What type of workout do you want? All right, here it is. Oh yeah, for sure. I got your daily dose of volleyball vitamins right here. Let's go. about a mindful breathing exercise. Breathe in through your nose for a count of four, hold it at the top for two seconds, and breathe out through your nose for a count of six. While you're doing it, feel your breath the whole time and stay present. Even though we can't all physically be together right now, even though this pandemic has shut down our beaches and prevented us from competing, our community of beach volleyball has not only endured, but gotten so much stronger. Sometimes when we are met with great adversity, we are forced to find creative ways to connect or to help one another or to provide a little bit of motivation or inspiration when it's needed. I wanted to thank the application band for sponsoring this video and for inspiring our band to stay motivated and to help one another navigate this strange and difficult time for us all. To help launch your band, we've attached a few of our own ideas to the end of this video, including a home workout with no equipment needed, an ab routine, some volleyball vitamins, and a quick mindful meditation exercise. Band is a group communication platform for all types of groups. Band keeps all the group members in the same information loop and brings the group together. Band provides a private communication space for any group where leaders can share announcements, schedule and have photo, video, file resources, chat with the entire group or one-on-one. -on -one. Band is also equipped with advanced group features including read receipt, poll, sign up, attendance, live streaming and advanced group management that makes group communication simple and powerful. Band provides your group with a safe place to communicate. No one outside of your group can access your data or conversations. All the features are free with no hidden fees. They have no text or group size limits. You can create as many groups as you want. Download the free app today and try it with your squad by clicking the link in the description below. Okay, here's a creative way you can train at home with the ball, because I know you have a couple of these lying around. So you're gonna set as you do sit-ups. If you want, tuck your feet under something. If not, you can just leave them hanging. So continuously set as you do a sit-up, and then control it back down. So you're gonna do 10 reps like that. And if you want to set higher, it will make it a little bit tougher. Cat pause with the volleyball. It's a good way to work on your core and your fast twitch reaction with your hands. So you're gonna go into a push-up position with one hand on the ball, and then slide it over to the other hand and lift it up and catch it on the way over. So you're trying to go as quick as you can and try to keep your hips from moving side to side. So we're gonna go 10 on each side. Push-ups with one hand on the ball. So do a push-up, roll it over to the other side, and then do another push-up. You have five for each side. Okay, and then the last one, you're gonna set the ball down and hop with two feet over and back. This can be a little dangerous, so make sure you don't land on the ball and sprain your ankle. We're gonna go 10 each side. I repeat, do not land on the ball. If you wanna use something else that's more stationary, you can do that. Russian twist, 10 each side. Dead bugs, five each side. Let's 
sit-ups for 10. The plant is optional. Finisher, 10 toe touches. What's up, Bearded Bros? Uh, sorry I couldn't make it over to your house, but social distancing. Um, just wanted to share a couple drills for you and your viewers to keep your touch up while you're staying inside or not able to play uh, with your team. All right, here we go. First thing you can do is just touch the ball. The more touches you get, the better it is. If this is too easy, try taking your eyes off of it. Another drill to improve your touch. Going back and forth, right, left, right, left, right, left. Now if you get a lot of these, again, try to take your eyes off the ball. And, to make it even more challenging, you can't move your feet. Harder than a look, go get it. Next thing we can do, a little more realistic, practice our passing technique, our bump into ourselves, make sure our arms are away from our body, Good. Next we can do, set to ourselves. Now, if the roof is not as high as this one is, you can always set kneeling. Or you can kind of do a combination where you stand up, come down, and even go all the way down. Go get it. Now, let's combine all those skills. Bump, set, right, left, bump, set, right, left. Another thing we can do to increase the difficulty if those uh, exercises are a little too easy for you, add some movement. So we're gonna pass to ourselves. Our shoulders are gonna stay at the same level. Our head's not moving. We're just adding some shuffle steps here. See if you can control it. All right, now that we've done a lot of those exercises just on your own, controlling the ball with yourself, um, if you've got a wall or a garage, um, another great way to practice without a partner is just pass them back and forth off the wall. And again, this is a good technique. Arms away from your body, making sure that you're making good contact with the wall every time. Try to hit the same spot on the wall every time if you can. Um, I have a little niece who's about nine years old. She got 52 in a row this morning, I saw on uh, FaceTime you know, social distancing, and uh, pretty proud of her. Is that a woodpecker? No, it's just me getting my wall work in. Setters, this is one of the best ways for you guys to get all the reps in that you can in a short amount of time. I suggest going for a minute per hand. And then, if you want to make it a little more difficult, you can set from further back, try and hit the same spot. I'd recommend getting hundreds of these in. Parents, I apologize, but uh, takes, gotta get, I don't know. <laughs> Parents, I uh, apologize if it makes a lot of noise, but Jurassic time, times call for Jurassic Man. Parents, apologize if this gets a little loud or a little annoying, but it's the best way to get reps in when practices get canceled. Go get them. <laughs>